In this video, we're going to learn about the chi-square test. Uh, the chi-square test is one of the oldest tests in statistics, and uh, it's a very simple test. We're going to arrange counts of events in rows and in columns. And the question we're going to try to answer is, are the rows and columns independent, that is, uh, not related to each other, or uh, is there some arrangement of the counts that leads us to believe uh, that the distribution uh, is not random and that rows and columns are therefore somehow connected to each other? Let's look at an example. That's easier to explain than all the uh, theoretical discussion. Here I've set us up uh, an example with three rows and three columns. You can pick any numbers you like, 2 by 3, 4 by 6, whatever suits your situation. The example that I'm showing here is three treatments that we might give for some ailment. Uh, some, some patients receive no treatment, uh, some, people, some people receive aspirin, and some receive antibiotic. We then watch uh, the results. Some people will show no change, some will be worse, and some will be better. So 10 of our patients received no treatment and had no change. Five of our patients had antibiotic and showed no change. On the other hand, 22 of our patients received antibiotic and were better. Let's turn our attention now uh, to the results. All we have to do is click Calculate, which I've already done. Uh, it calculates a number known as the chi-square statistic. Then uh, it gives us the probability of getting a result uh, this uh, strange just by random chance. And it's a way, way small probability. So the conclusion that we reach is, yes, the method of treatment that is selected does have an effect on the outcome of the disease. Now let's handle a couple of uh, technical issues. With this particular example, when you first click Calculate, you'll get this error message that says that we had an expected value of less than 5 and it happened in only one of the cells. Uh, an expected value of less than 5 means that you do not have a large enough data set for proper analysis. Well, am I going to get overly tense about one cell that's at 4.69 instead of 5? Uh, probably not. Okay, so let's get rid of that. One of the rules is that whatever you choose for column headers, uh, the titles have to be mutually exclusive. So for this test, we couldn't have any patients that were treated uh, with both aspirin and antibiotic. Finally, you may wonder how do you choose uh, which are your column headers and which are your row headers? And the answer is it doesn't make any difference. Just do whatever you like. So it's a real simple test. Uh, it doesn't expect much of us. And uh, it, it gives us a result on count data, which fairly often is all we have to work with. 